So one thing I've noticed a lot is that jazz is really um, dominated by um, like males, um, just uh, players, everyone. Um, and I've noticed that like even as a, like a lead player, I'm really discouraged like from being out there because it's just so predominated by like males. Um, so I guess my question is like, what are your thoughts on female influence throughout the history of jazz and who has been your like biggest inspiration um, as a like a female instrumentalist, not just like a vocalist? I think that it's been a paucity of, uh, of females of a, of a certain heft mm -hmm. in jazz. For me, my favorite is Mary Lou Williams. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to make a point to you that's important. Everywhere I went, I was almost always the only black person. Mm -hmm. Even now in New York, I walk up and down, I walk in the rooms all the time, only black person. Now, I grew up in segregation. So what I have to tell you is something that my mother believed in. When you don't see yourself, put yourself there. Now, when we first started having integration, we were all used to sitting on the back of buses, just conditioning. That's where you sat. You sit in the back. My father used to always say, don't sit in the back of a bus. But it was natural to you to sit in the back. You didn't know why it was natural. You were used to sitting in the back. Mm -hmm. So you would say, go sit in the front of the bus. I never sat in the front of the bus, but my brother did. Mm -hmm. I said, hey, man, why are you sitting in the front of the bus? Daddy told me to sit in the front. When you don't see yourself, if you really want to see yourself in a place, put yourself in that place. Mm -hmm. Will you have opposition? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that opposition ever stop? Mm -hmm. Is there an opposition to racism? Mm -hmm. It's much more than it was in 1813. Mm -hmm. So you either create the world you want to see, which part of that is decrying the one that exists. Mm -hmm. But when you decry the world that exists, figure out how can I put myself in the position to create change. And one thing younger people represent why well, it's always very important for me, with all youngsters and all of students, to be as for real and absolute as I can possibly be about challenges and issues. Life is not a playground. Mm -hmm. It's just not. We need you all to be different from how we are. We need you to create change. That change is very hard earned, because who's going to sacrifice? Who's going to give up? OK, let's say we wanted to put uh, just put a woman in the band. Who's going to give up their job for that? I want a woman in the band tomorrow. Somebody quit. I want a black person at this. Who's going to give up what they have? So we have a tradition and a history in the world of sectarianism, of racism. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, you run out of others to attack. Then you start to attack yourself. Now, where else you going to look? You see, so, so, so far as uh, just the condition we find ourselves in, is not uh, the history of the world would not lead you to think that equality is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. It's something we have to consistently and always fight for. Mm -hmm. That's just a reality. And, and in terms of f females that I respected or I love, Mary Lou Williams, in terms of her playing. But I have to say, you, you said not vocalist, but I do have to say, that for me, um, for our institution, I wrote a set of 12 principles. Mm -hmm. and, and the first one is embody the music you serve. Mm -hmm. And with those principles, I was thinking of who is the person I knew that most embodied, that I knew, most embodied this music. And the person who's in that essay is Betty Carter. Because of the people I knew, she was the most absolutely for real. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't a kind of sweet, touchy-feely poster girl but she was so absolutely for real about the music, about teaching people, and she and I didn't get along. But I was a kid, and the respect I had for her, when I would go to her gigs, and when I saw her, and the quality of her bands, and the way she defended this music, and the integrity she had, all these years later, I still say Betty Carter. So if I have to say the number one person of who I saw that I felt created more great bands, was the deepest, had the most integrity about the music, and I was playing with Art Blakey, and he, he agreed with that, too. So that's a long answer, but that's what I think. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. This may only be a dream.
For years, legendary jazz singer Betty Carter has surrounded herself with young musicians, giving them on-the-job training. We come and go. Teaching them what they can't learn in school. I give them work. And when you give them work, they have to learn. They, it's over and, that's what I mean. That's what I'm trying to, trying to create, consistency. By giving them that steady work, they get better and better and better. Carter auditions aspiring musicians with a critical ear. Yeah. I'm listening for that little special ingredient that says this musician wants to become a jazz musician. If they've got what it takes, Carter brings them to New York for a unique training program she's developed for young jazz students. It's called Jazz Ahead, and it's a week of intense workshops they'll never forget. Do the bass out of your hand. You gotta have, when you come here, you have to have your instrument in your hand all the time. This is consistency. Carter wastes no time putting her students on the spot. You gotta have the energy, guys. That's what I got. That's what youth is for, right? Yes. You gotta have some spirit, no? Use your power. Don't hold back. No time. Never hold back. Never. Never. In life. No more in life do you hold back. You understand what I'm saying? You're on top of it every time you get on a job. Sometimes. Don't follow. Lead to. Do things to make people follow you. You know, be aggressive in other words. But I listen very hard, and, and, and I try to get them to avoid the cliches in order to become an individual, become creative. Because cliches are all over the place, and anybody can do that. But if you want to hang in there, for a long time, then you have to really be an individual, be something somebody will never forget. 